to Doplex's Health Minute. The World Health Organization has published an updated position paper on the malaria vaccine recommendation that was announced in October 2021 for children living in moderate to high Plasmodium falciparum malaria transmission areas. This paper complements the recent addition of the vaccine recommendation to the WHO guidelines for malaria. Investigators from Weill Cornell Medicine and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center have identified how sipinamod, a drug for multiple sclerosis, can act as a targeted drug interacting with its target receptor S1P1 and additional receptor S1P5, but not with any other unwanted receptors. This information can be used to design drugs that are less likely to bind to unwanted targets, reducing the risk of side effects. Investigators from the University of Chicago showed the beneficial effects of a combination of nicotine replacement therapy with drug vereniclin in 122 smokers who were also heavy drinkers. Patients' feedback and the lab results confirmed that 44.3% of participants abstained from smoking while weekly drinking days for participants decreased by 25%. According to a study involving the mice model for hepatic osteodystrophy disease, an imbalance of the liver bone axis accelerates the progression of the disease caused by chronic liver injury. The results showed that the upregulation of phosphatase PP2AC alpha led to the downregulation of lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase expression, which exacerbated bone loss. In your opinion, what measures can be taken to avoid bone loss related complications in patients with liver diseases? Share your views by commenting below. Health Minute, the most liked segment of Top Nexus, brings you the latest happenings in the medical field. Stay tuned for more insights. Happy Top Nexing!